Let's make PRTG big. In the last PRTG video I posted, I was talking about organizing your sensors, and I was giving you two different strategies, one of them being based on device type, and then I was also talking about uh, another strategy based on device location. Now, that may seem fine as you're looking at uh, an installation like this, where I've got, say, 100 sensors or so, which is why that, that great free version of PRTG works perfectly for a, you know, a home, even a lot of small businesses can do just fine on 100 sensors. But what happens when you move from, say, 100 sensors to my instance that I'm running for the managed service provider that, that I started 10 years ago, where we're, we're climbing well above 6,000 sensors? How big is too big? Well, it turns out that is a virtually impossible question to answer simply. And as a matter of fact, you, if, you've, if you've gone down this road, you may have done a little Googling yourself and found this article right here. How do you plan a large installation of PRTG Network Monitor? And it talks about the fact that, number one, you have to think about sensors based on the type of sensor that it is, as in SNMP sensors, ping sensors, those are really lightweight. And you can run thousands of those on a decent machine. Uh, if, if, you're, if you're using just those sensors, but as you start moving into things like WMI sensors, VMware sensors, uh, or SOAP sensors, or, uh, or packet sniffing sensors, which is the most intensive as at all, you can't, you can't just say, well, that machine can run a thousand you know, SNMP sensors, but you know, a thousand, you know, so, so what, P what Passler decided to do when they, when they created this article is kind of just make some, some bold statements here on like, hey, this, this is about the size that we recommend. And if you, if you get, look at this guideline, they're saying, about 5,000 sensors per PRTG running on a virtual machine is the cap that we would go. And then you start scrolling down to the, to the, the comments and, and people are like, well, well I'm running 60,000 sensors. And it, it, it's funny because I'm looking further and, and the guy who started PRTG is like, wow, well, <laughs> well that's downright impressive. So, so what he's trying to say is depending on your mix, your hardware, everything else, the number of sensors that you use can be uh, a moving target. And you really have to look and say, okay, what is my load at? Let me look at the resource utilization. Okay. So keep that in mind. You can scale large as long as you're watching your resource utilization and your processor isn't peaking out. You've got memory available. Okay. So, so what happens when you do peak out? What happens when you can't put enough resources in there, or you've reached the size where you're like, it's time to scale beyond just one server because I'm getting nervous. If that one goes down and we lose all the monitoring associated with it, that can't be good. This is where we get into the idea of multiple PRTG servers. First off, know that there is this idea of a cluster and that will address the issue of redundancy to where you can actually have multiple servers acting as one in the PRTG world to where if one goes down, you can fail over and the other run. So, so that, that fear I was talking about of losing everything, that can be addressed with the cluster. But even in a cluster, you have scalability limits. You'll have a maximum number of sensors. So that's where you can start creating multiple PRTG instances. And this is why this topic is so closely related to organizing your sensors. There's really two ways to create multiple instances. And when I say instances, I'm talking separate databases to where PRTG, we'll just call it DB1, database one, will have its own set of sensors, its own set of remote probes monitoring their own set of sensors. And that's all self-contained in its own little instance. Database two would be its own PRTG instance with its, with its own set of remote probes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, so the question then says, okay, well, first off, how do you organize that? How do you set up multiple PRTG instances so it works well? Two things. One, you can organize it by, we'll say, uh, organization type. Like for instance, maybe you've got one set of instances or, or one instance of PRTG that's, that's monitoring a certain set of clients for your managed service provider. Maybe you divide your clients into, you know, we've got, we've got our business clients or maybe small business, mid-sized business, large business, or education, nonprofit. You know, you, you kind of got your different categories and you monitor it that way. 
Uh, or you start doing uh, divisions within your organization. Let, let's say we've got uh, Intel, right? You might have one PRTG instance for monitoring Intel within this geographical region or this division of Intel within, you know, you see what I mean? So you can organize it that way and then tie them together or be able to jump between them by using something like PRTG Desktop. PRTG Desktop is the evolution of what used to be called PRTG Enterprise Console. And I think Enterprise Console is still out there somewhere, but that's where you can actually add multiple servers into this. And you can make this list however long that you want, add those servers and then just jump between them so that you can jump between those instances as easy as clicking a button. Now the challenge you're gonna reach when you start monitoring multiple instances is twofold. One, licensing. Every one of those instances is its own PRTG license. So there is no kind of GUI license that moves between them until recently. I'll talk about that in just a second. The second is a unified dashboard, for lack of better words. That's one of the beauties of having a single instance is you can create PRTG maps, you can create all kinds of different features that pull sensors together because they're all within the same da database. They're all within the same instance. But even that has been resolved as of late. And that is why Passler decided to sponsor this video. They wanted everybody to know about their new product called PRTG Enterprise Monitor. It literally addresses both of the issues I was just talking about. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another video where I show some of these features, but look at this. Number one, it gives you an annual per sensor subscription, meaning you can run as many instances as PRTG as you want, and you're just paying annually on, on a subscription basis rather than buying a license based on the number of sensors and then trying to keep up with it, you know, like how many sensors do I have? Okay, I need to upgrade the license, things like that. No, 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 it's one subscription. That, that allows you to scale it as many as you, as you want to, right? Uh, and as many servers as you want to. The second thing is it now ties things together with this new IT ops board. Think of this as the instance of instances where you can create a dashboard or a reporting engine, we'll just generify it by saying that, based on information from all of the databases that you have running in multiple PRTG instances. And that's what I wanna show you in the video I'm gonna record next. I wanted to give you in this video just a mindset of how you can scale PRTG as your sensors grow and see some of the, the walls you're gonna run into when you start dividing into multiple instances and then where Passler has gone to develop solutions for that, right? Last thing I want to show you, and I'm, I'm using an older video simply because I don't, I, I'm recording this one right now. It doesn't exist yet. Click this link right here. You will get a 30 day free unlimited trial of Passwords PRTG. But also when that's said and done, that converts over to a 100 sensor version that you can use for life. And like I was showing you right at the beginning of this whole thing, that works amazingly well to get started monitoring your own house or small business with PRTG without ever paying for a thing. Crazy cool product, free for life. <laughs> Click the link, it's that simple.